Patrick. Patrick Cannon, thank you for being here on Bergavant, splitting a martini with me. This is very nice. Thanks for having me. Of course. Now, you are a lot of people's favorite actor here in Pittsburgh. <laughs> uh, My mother. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is she, is she a, a Pittsburgher? She is. Okay, yeah. she counts. She's yeah. uh, involved in that group. Yeah. Uh, we've seen you in a lot of uh, productions uh, here in the city over the years. You do a lot here and in New York City. But you're working on something really, really exciting right now and very unusual, a monumental task of producing a television pilot. Is this correct? It is, it is correct. What, yeah. what, what possessed you to take on this crazy endeavor? Well, I think that, uh, well, I started it about two and a half years ago. Wow. You know, I'm jotting down ideas, and I finally told, was telling a friend about it one time on the phone, and he got really frustrated with me. And he was like, you don't talk to me about this again until you send me an actual script. So I did. I sat down and I wrote it, and uh, that that began the process of editing and rewriting and rewriting and rewriting and rewriting. And then I finally showed it to my partner, and who is a uh, independent producer, and she was like, "We should make this." So really quickly, it became a reality. Uh, but it really was just kind of a a project that I was working on. I wasn't really focused on completing it by any means. I was just trying to figure it out. So Now, is that usually how it gets done? I just imagine like a bunch of producers sitting in LA cooking something up that's marketable. I mean, did, it, it, is this usually the process? Somebody's got an idea, they work, they uh, independently produce it and then try to sell it? I don't know. Uh, I mean, there's, there's, this is definitely uh, not the typical way people go about getting their television show produced or picked up by a network. Uh, however, you're seeing it happen from uh, high maintenance to um, Broad City to It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. You know, they, were, they, they produced a product first and then used that product to gain the, you know, to gain the, the investors and the executives and, and the production team behind them to create full seasons. So, so it can happen, and it's happening now. Well, Here in Pittsburgh. Trying, that's the goal. I mean, we have the talent. That's, that's, not, uh, that's not a question. So. so tell me a little bit about the concept of this. Uh, the uh, project is called Mulligan, and uh, it actually takes place in Pittsburgh. It's being uh, uh, filmed in Pittsburgh about Pittsburgh. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of a... Uh, Pittsburgh has always had some sort of version of the Pittsburgh kid, uh, which I think the first was probably Billy Kahn. The boxer, yeah, yeah, and the most recent is Neil Walker. Right, yeah. uh, but there was kind of all anyone with Pittsburgh ties. Pittsburgh really rally, rallies behind, and Rocco Media is a good example as far as like golfers. Mm -hmm. um, he's not even really from Pittsburgh, but Pittsburgh is really. But he, I bet he likes to claim that. Yeah, and what an honor. We're, yes, for both we're he and very, us. Yeah, thank you, Rocco. <laughs> uh, but it, it's basically about a golfer who gets out of prison um, and wants to rebuild his life. Uh, and then in a world where media jumps on that stuff, I mean, it's, he's kind of similar to a, a Johnny Manziel uh, or a Paul Spatafora, who's another Pittsburgh sports figure who uh, had some troubles. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a fictional character. We've created kind of a sports hero that has fallen in Pittsburgh, and we thought it would be more interesting to watch him try and rebuild his life after the glory versus... Uh, kind of grow into it so it's definitely a story of redemption but it's not uh it's not golfer gets out of prison and goes straight back and becomes a pro again and i, I think it, it takes place uh, in part of a mini golf course right it does so the, baby steps right? yeah yeah baby steps <laughs> uh there's a there's a pitch and putt course there too no it's it scally's golf center in moon oh yeah and yeah it's it's a, a phenomenal facility and it's over the property is is rather large so we have a we have actors who who play the people who work in the ice cream shop and actors who play uh the workers of the driving range and it, the driving range is all owned by jack's family um and his brother now owns it outright so when he gets out of prison his brother gives him a job at the family driving range where his ex-girlfriend still works now a um, lot of this sounds pretty heavy but i mean is it a comedy are there uh funny components to this uh, yeah, I think it, I think it's funny, <laughs> but I wrote it, so 
Uh, no. <laughs> well, no, that's good because, you know, I think that's a great start because typically I think the, most of the writers I know are yeah. so critical of their work. They don't think it's funny, you know, until somebody else laughs at it. So I, I think that's a good start if you think it's funny. Well, most I, my character is not funny. I think that I wrote some nice little beats for actors who are way better at comedy than I am. You are really. so generous that... Uh, that is an amazing quality for a writer slash actor. Give uh, everybody else the good lines. Right? Well, it's a it's a difficult. A lot of the the pilot is about communication and how mm. you you know and how do you talk to someone who you, you I assume you you create a, a different type of communication when someone's in prison and what does that communication mm. become when they're out and especially after a decent period of time. So, yeah. Now I know you have golf experience. Do do you also have experience having been in trouble with the law? Oh God! Is this um, coming from a place of? Uh, I've never, I've never been arrested. Okay. No, I've All never right. been arrested. I mean, I've yeah, I've had run-ins as an idiot punk kid. <laughs> Come on, dude. Are you <laughs> pulling? Are you pulling on any of that for the background? Of yeah, this game? I mean, I think that there's, in some ways, I think that, you know, I know what it's like to reach a point in your life where you don't, you're not proud of how you're living it, and to find a way to turn that around. So I think that. That the, that redemption re, you know resonates with me, and that's definitely charged in the pilot. But I uh, he's definitely a separate character. I'm not. I'm uh, an unknown theater guy in in Pittsburgh, and this is a guy who is known across the country. So now I've checked out the website, and you have so many great collaborators on this. I mean, actors. Uh, it's it's like a who's who of the the Pittsburgh uh, uh, yeah. acting scene. It's. It makes me it makes me emotional when I think about it. The the amount of talent that the caliber of talent that we've gotten to agree to do this blows my mind. Um, and I mean, Steve was Steve Paris is the director, and he directed the Chief, um, the film version mm -hmm. of the Chief, which was interesting for me because the original director of the play was Ted Pappas, who gave me my start and gave me my equity card. So to kind of come to have my first film project in in, in Pittsburgh. That I'm producing, have Steve involved was, it meant a lot to me. Yeah. Uh, so Steve, he believed in the script a lot, and I think because of Steve coming on board, we were able to get a lot of the best actors in town. Um, I think that I have a pretty decent eye for talent, and I wrote roles that I thought these people would really be great in, and I, yeah, I think we're gonna make it make it work. So what happens next? I mean, what's the step to actually getting this put on television? Well, we're filming it. Um, we're filming That's a good it. start. That's that, a good yeah. start. We'll put it on camera. <laughs> uh, we're filming it the first week of October. So then we will spend the next, you know, the following months getting, our, getting the project uh, into its, its final form. And then, it's, then it's, a, it's a whole different ballgame once it's a final project. And once we see how it comes together, we see how we're using it in our pitch and what our pitch exactly is going to be. And if we take it directly into networks, if we decide to do the festival route, you know, something like Downward Dog, no. uh, you know, you could argue that they wouldn't have gotten picked up for the first season had they not had the success in festivals that they did uh, before it was picked up by ABC. Is that ABC? Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's really no rules to the game anymore. So yeah, is that we're, different we're, than it, how it used to be? Have the rules changed? I, I don't think the rules have changed, but I think the accessibility for talented people to pull stuff off is a little easier in oh, some ways um, so it's a matter of making as high quality product as we can and when people you know, hopefully people appreciate it and enjoy it and, and see why it would make for a great series great mm -hmm. episodic series and um, and have the conversation from there as far as how it shifts and changes and I've, I've done a lot of research on how shows kind of create their packages and in and, and pitches. So a lot of that will be determinant on the product that we are pitching at the end. So. Right. And people can get involved. They can check out the website. And uh, you uh, have had an Indiegogo uh, project for this, which is just wrapping up now. But still, folks can donate to this project. They should uh, 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 still through uh, Indiegogo, and we'll have the link to that uh, attached to our Thank our segment today. Because uh, yeah, that that makes all the difference, I imagine. Is uh, it really funding. does? It really does, especially on a shoestring budget. I mean, you're we're we're getting actors who were in the dark night to to agree to work for uh, a day rate that barely covers gas. So it's 
we're, we're making a, a very high quality product with high quality folks who are pretty much everyone's doing it as a passion project in one way, shape or form, which is, is humbling and pretty mind blowing for me.